Brooke, Alyssa Munsterman. I am so happy to be taking this next step in life with you today. I was told that the most important decisions you can make in your life is your decision to follow God and deciding who to marry. And I'm so happy that I get to take your hand in marriage, but even more excited to walk with you in faith and follow the plans God has set out for us. Joshua Peters, I love you so much. I am overjoyed that today we stand at this altar, about to become husband and wife. The day that we've prayed about, worked hard for, finally arrived. Let's delay 15 minutes. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm cool with that, Dad. Okay, okay let's do this. Okay, thanks, love you. <laughs> let's do this. It was around this time, about five years ago, that I met Josh and Brooke, and they started uh, serving with me at Beulah Alliance Church. And I have watched over the last years this, this couple just grow in love and commitment to each other. They have grown closer to each other and to God, and it has been an incredible blessing to watch that. You two love each other so well. Brooke, I give you all that I have, myself and my love. I promise to respect you, support you, and take care of you. To stay by your side through the good days and bad. I promise to be a strong spiritual leader and always bring you closer to God. As you place this ring on Brooke's finger, please repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vows. As a symbol of my vows. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Brooke. As you place this ring on Josh's finger, please repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vows. As a symbol of my vows. And with all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. By the authority invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your beautiful bride. Josh, in almost six years, I've known you. You've brought me more happiness in my life than I could ever imagine. You are the most selfless, kind, patient, and handsome man I've ever met. <laughs> and above all else, you love Christ with your entire heart. I feel incredibly pr privileged and honored to be near you today. Josh, I vow to respect and honor you. I vow to love you for all the days I shall live. 
I want to pray for you, encourage you, and to be the person that you can always rely on. And I vow to always pursue Christ first in all things we do, and in the good times and the bad times. I vow to always look to Him first for guidance and push you to the same.